down to the end. And this is Point of Power. This is our last chapter for In this phase of our adventure, shelter at home, our, I'm sorry, shelter in place, stay home, stay healthy, stay well. All of this is so important. And I want to bring you three tidbits today from Miriam Lohman for you. And even if I say that aloud, I can feel someone thinking, oh, but Maria, what about what we're going through now? You know, life is forever revealing its miracles, forever. The fact that we are being as kind to each other and as inclusive, as understanding, as accommodating. There is so much that is shifting and is available to us to shift even further. So I want to share with you as a part of our inspiration as we move forward during this time and all times from day 116, which is, or literally for today, today is the 116th day of this year. Marianne Williamson writes, today I will expect less from others and more from the universe. I love that. Today I will expect less from others and more from the universe. Can you see the shift in how we're weighting our expectations? Too often we are, she even says this, we're grasping at people and especially during this time we have an expectation that they should have and they could have and, and they ought to and who knows for sure. But what if we determined as our point of power to expect less from them, to, to, to let go of all of what we expected from the ones who we think could have, would have, should have. And, ex and instead put our faith where it's rightfully placed, on the divine, on the living one, the strong one, the, the good, the source of all good. She calls us to remember that in God, in the divine, I already have everything. So to have an expectation that this one will give it to me or will make sure that I have an opportunity, it's instead starting from a different point of power, an awareness that all of my needs are met within me before they are manifest in the universe, before I have a demonstration of it. It is met in me, in my consciousness, in my thinking. Marion Williamson writes, as I allow all people and things to be, whomever and however they are, the universe will respond positively to my correct positioning of heart and mind. As I allow all things to be, all things in return will be wonderful. You know, even in the midst of this very difficult and challenging time, extremely challenging, some would say horrendously challenging, and across the spectrum to in mildly inconvenient to absolutely challenging everything about us. Within that is still the grace of God, the peace, the joy. When we think about it, all of our moments have never been grief. There's been some light, some joy, some peace somewhere in there. This notion of today I expect less from others and more from the universe. She ends it with a prayer that I'd like to share with you. Dear God, please take away my grasping nature. May my mind not seek to control either people or events, but rather may I look with love on all things. Then and only then will my world transform from darkness to light and fear to love. That is an amazing point of power to which I say, Amen, Ashe, and so it is.